first of all, congratulations. Hey. Hey, look at me. Look. London, baby. Yes, we are back. And this time around, we are here for Kong Skull Island. I am ready. I hope you are. Let's go do it. A microphone, a red carpet, a little obsession, and Lala Hirayama. It's time to get closer to the stars with Mnet Movies and La La Land. Seriously? Cobblestones, high heels equals pending disaster. It is perfect weather for some ice cream, right? Okay, maybe not ice cream. Hot chocolate? I think I found a place. Let's do it. Yeah, man, hot chocolate makes everything okay, even this weather. No, where was I? I want a cookie. What you want is this. Just arrived at the hotel. It is junket day. I'm super excited. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, sorry. Hey. Hey, how are you? Oh, look who it is. It's Toby Campbell. Good for you. I'm very well. Great trousers. Yeah, like my pants. I, like I pants. love that. Thank you. We're representing Africa, babe. Yeah, I see yeah. it. You blew this out the water. Thank you. Yeah, so talk us through the process of how this movie came about and uh, also what you were aiming to achieve with it. Well, when they first came to me and said, we're gonna make a new King Kong movie, I said, that sounds awesome, I love King Kong, but why? <laughs> I went away for the weekend and sort of thought about, is there a version of this I would wanna make? How do you make a King Kong movie fresh? And that's when this idea of like, Apocalypse Now in Kong and a Vietnam War movie with like a Harryhausen creature feature mixed together and like choppers and napalm and Hendrix. Is that a monkey? What the hell is that? I was like, I'll make that movie. What, what excited you most about being part of this new rendition of Kong? I think Kong is an icon and to share the screen with him as an actor is just a privilege. And also that this particular incarnation is uh, it's set in 1973, and it feels close to now, but far enough away because it was pre-digital. I think for me, it was, it was a couple of things. One is the character itself, where she's very brave and very strong and is telling the truth. And then the other part of it is that there's a lot of really great questions, philosophical questions that we can ask ourselves in particular about the environment. Listen, this is the biggest Kong we have ever seen. He's standing at 26 meters tall. I mean, why was it so important for you to make King Kong that big? How big does that creature need to be before, where it goes past being, oh, that's a really big monkey, and past the point in which you say, oh, that's a god. That's Kong. He's god on the island. What is it about this Kong that you love being a part of? This is a new rendition, a new origin story? Well, I just thought, you know, it would be a great opportunity to do that kids thing that I've been, you know, trying to do my whole life and from seeing the first one and running away and right. pretending to have Kong in your neighborhood and <laughs> being chased by it or chasing it. I spent 30 years trying to prove the truth. Monsters exist. Well, tell us more about your um, character, Conrad. I mean, we all know you're a superhero, but uh, did you have... Super villain. Super villain, superhero. <laughs> uh, did you have uh, any special training to become a tracker, though? It takes a long time to become a tracker, but I read about it, and I did some sort of physical training. Um, I was trained by some former servicemen in the army. You obviously developed this really incredible bond with Kong, but he's not there. What was the process like for you building, you know, and having, sharing intimate moments with him like that when you can't see him? It gets reduced down to just this very childlike quality of just using your imagination and pretending like there's this creature that's there that you've become close with that doesn't exist. Why should South Africans go check out Kong Skull Island? It'll take you to another world, it'll transport you, and you'll have fun for 90 minutes or so, and you'll leave laughing and exhilarated and happy because you'll go, hey, maybe they're gonna do this again. Next time on La La Land. Welcome to the slightly drizzly London premiere of Kong Skull Island. It's cold, but now I am warm. Visit Mnet.tv and see what else Lala has been up to and a whole lot more to keep you a little obsessed.